through the pray. Lord God, that I just pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart would be bring glory unto you, God, Heavenly Father. I'm going to start with a statement. And it is, we saw our children, he saw our children as possessions. My husband killed our sons. Her sons were burnt to death by her husband. Now she is campaigning to prevent others suffering as she has. She says, I can't allow my son's death to be in vain. Like many parents, she carries her son's sports gear in the back of her car. Paul's running trainers and Jack's PE kit sit in the boot. But they've been there for a long time, for three and a half years. In fact, ever since the two boys were murdered by their father, It took just 15 minutes for my life to end and my existence to begin, she says. She recalls the events of the 22nd of October, 2014. On that day, Darren Sykes, to whom she was married for 16 years, committed the most atrocious of crimes. In a pre-planned act, he, he lured Jack, 12, and Paul, 9, up to the attic of the family home with the promise of a new train set. I don't know if you ever really experienced bitterness, but bitterness is what I believe was in his heart when he did that. Whether it was bitterness towards her because she had suffered years of living with him and his anger and frustration, his being angry because she was fat or other things, and those just continued and continued and continued on until his way of getting back at her was to kill their sons. I don't know if you've been exposed to bitterness in other people, in yourself, and looked at, in yourself, have you looked at them and thought they were evil when there was bitterness in them? They're not evil. It is the evil spirit in them that is what you're seeing. And if you decide that they all were the enemy and take them on, take on a battle, the battle of witness that comes up in them, you too are bringing anger, unforgiveness, part of bitterness into your own heart. As I realized yesterday, as I was writing this, I realized yesterday that I was dealing with um, my computer consultant, or the person that had fixed my computer, and I was upset and angry with what he was saying to me, because I didn't believe what he was saying. And it made me realize, as I was writing this, that my anger and frustration was putting on me a spirit that I really didn't want there. And so I had to stop and deal with that and really ask for forgiveness. Or re- I guess to me, I um, look at it as to what it is. And I recognize the fact that I was, I was upset with him. And I needed to say, God, I don't want that in me anymore. And so I repent of that. And my way of then dealing it with it is to say, God, I give this to you. Not God, you take it. But I give this to you, God. And take it to the dry places, which is scriptural. In the name of, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I always say Jesus Christ of Nazareth because there are other faiths that also believe in Jesus Christ. And so I want it to be the Jesus that I believe in. And then fill me with whether it's going to be your Holy Spirit or that which you want me to be filled with. And that's how, that's how I deal with it. And if it's not dealt with, as it comes from someone else, someone that, um, if, if that comes upon a person, it can come upon them generationally, it can be, anger that you, a spirit of anger that you have received from your family line. It can be somebody that has said something to you that you didn't like them saying. Um, It can be 
Very, it can come from various places. And when there's unforgiveness, that record of wrong ferments and becomes resentment. And so with the resentment, um, you often agree with someone else. And when you agree with somebody else, and they have resentment, or they have feelings within themselves, that starts to interact with another, or can interact with another person. And then we both become victims. And um, resentment is often because you both have the same spirit. And whether it's resentment or whether it's something else, I, I tell about a time in my life when it wasn't resentment, but it was a person that um, I, I, I liked them. We got along really well. And when I saw them and we'd give a hug to each other, hey, that was really neat. And I just said, hey, he gives the best hugs. And then as I was healed of that resentment, when I'd see him, and I didn't want to give him a hug because I knew that within me, we didn't have that same feeling of camaraderie. And to me, it, that really made a difference. Um, the resentment can also then bring forth a, period, a spirit of retaliation. I want to get rid of them. I want to get um, uh, I want I want to do something to them. I'm going to get even. I re, it says I even remember a bu bumper sticker I saw a few years ago. I don't forgive. I just get even. And I think that often you hear that, particularly I'm going to say on the street or with people that really are trying to get. They want to get even. You're you're going to pay. I remember what you did to me. These feelings are are real. You're going to pay. You better watch your back. I'm going to get get you if it's the last thing I do. And so from that, the retaliation can come anger and wrath. And the anger and wrath, um, unforgiveness can be hidden. Resentment can be hidden skillfully by someone who is deceptive. Re retaliation can be hidden, but anger starts to show. And with the anger and wrath, it's, it's anger and wrath never occur unless these three, unforgiveness, resentment, and re retaliation, have been festering for some time. You get angry for a reason. The reason is because of the breach, because of the hurt, because of victimization, unforgiveness, resentment, and retaliation. Get their, they get their foothold. Now you have a fourth spirit that comes in. And with that fourth spirit, there is a resolution. And the resolution is when you think of, like, I'm really going to do it. And often that retaliation can end up being um, murder. And whether it's murder with the tongue or actual murder, as in, as in this case of the father with his children, he was really, really angry. And I know a few years ago, there was um, a father of well, the parents were divorced, and the mother was remarried, and the boys were either near to teens or they were in their teens, and they went to their father's home. And he killed those two boys as a way of getting back at his wife so that she wouldn't have her sons. And that's how much anger and wrath there was in him. And so I just, you know, pray that we would all, when we realize that there's something within us that we don't like, we need to resolve it. And I, when I got here tonight, I really like praise, like praise, praise, praise the Lord. And so the young man that was reading, leading the singing tonight was, he was singing something that was sort of like this, when it, you know, about this is what happened when God helped me or whatever it was. And I was, I really wanted some praise, like I wanted praise. And so at the end of it, I went and asked him 
for forgiveness. For, because he knew and he said tonight the songs that he was singing were because of where he has been in his life. And that, you know, I really wanted to honor him. And I said, you know, I did. I just sat down and prayed when you were singing those because they weren't my kind of song. So anyway, um, we all have our things that we go through in life. And I just shared some of what I've gone through in my life. Thank you. Mm -hmm.